Now I want to point something out. Both of these say symmetrical. So you can't use symmetrical as your word to distinguish between those two shapes. You're going to have to go with mound and rectangular. Those would be preferred. Okay, so for each of the above histograms, where would you put the mean and where would you put the median? So for the mean on a histogram, it's the point where you can balance that whole histogram, assuming every little frequency has the same weight and thinking about a teeter-totter, how if you're way out at the end of the teeter-totter, you're actually pulling the teeter-totter down more than if you're up close to the pivot point. So thinking about that and you're, you're putting your finger on these, where would you place the mean and the median and the mode? And it's just asking mean and median. And let's do the easy one first. Let's see if I get a little bit thicker pen. We're right at the center on this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so. Our center on this one is right there. And I believe on this one that your median is also the exact middle. So you're going to have your median and your mean in the exact same place. Now on this one for the mode, you see that they all are the exact same height. So we have eight modes. Rather unusual, but on a rectangular distribution, if they are all exactly the same height, you have that many modes. Okay, looking at this mound shaped one, the first one, we can see if, if we're trying to balance, we're right here in the exact middle. And that's where our, um, and I can't get my pen to write there. Right here in the exact middle is where our median and our mean are because our mean is the exact center. It's the average of all the values and we have the exact same many on each side. So we're going to get that exact center for both of those. So maybe I'll just put a little picture right here. I apologize for my, if we have this sort of mound shaped, then our mean and our median are in the center. And one more thing too, the highest point, that's where our mode is. And so there's our mode right in the exact center as well. And those are for that first chart. Okay, so this one, the skewed to the right, if we're trying to think where can our mean be, I can see already where my mode is right there, mode. And the median is going to be somewhere about here. And then the last thing is that our mean is actually going to be, the average is going to be somewhat to the right of that. Okay, and for skewed left, it's going to be the same thing, but in the opposite direction, this is our mode and our median. And then our mean somewhere to the left a little bit. Mean. Okay, so our mean, you can think of it this way. The mean is being pulled towards the tail. So you could use that to help you out. Mean is pulled towards the tail. And we also call it by the direction the tail goes. So if the, if the tail is off to the left, we call it left skewed. If the tail is off to the right, we call it right skewed. So there you are. We put the mean and the median on each of the charts. That was this one. And then is there a relationship between the location of the mean and the median and the type of skewness? So what we're looking for is trying to say If we have a um, skewed left, well, we have skewed right first. That's our first one. Skewed right, which way do we have it? The median is smaller than the mode. That's correct. The median and the mean, I'm sorry. 
So if we have skewed to the right, our median is smaller than our mean. So I wrote that here, skewed right, median is smaller than mean. And if it's skewed left, the next one, then we can see that our median is then our median is greater than our mean we can put it in the same order median is greater than mean okay so remember the tail is pulling the mean away from the median so if it's skewed left then the median is being pulled towards the tail so it's going to be smaller than the um, median okay and then we say which is the most desirable and why and at this point you really don't have very much information about it and it really is going to depend on the distribution of the data. If your data is skewed we usually prefer the median because it'll be a little bit better measure of center. It's not being pulled towards that tail as much and if the data is not skewed we prefer the mean. So I'll just tell you that right now. Okay, so the first two histograms have the mean, the median, and the mode all in the exact same place. So let's look back at them and we can see definitely our mean, median, and mode were all three in the middle and we wrote it up here. And then for the rectangular, the mean, median, and mode were all three in the middle. Okay, so those all have the same equal, mean, median, and mode. And we're saying that the relative frequencies or the probabilities associated in the data for each graph is very different. So here you have the same frequency for each of the bars, but here we don't. We have most of the data clumped right there by the mean, median, and mode, and some data as we go out further and further from the mean, median, and mode. On this one, it's equal. So here's the mean, median, and mode, and we have the same amount of data in each of these bars all the way to the left to the right. We're not getting it less and less, and the data is not as clumped right there at the mean, median, and mode. And that's what we're saying here. So we just want you to notice that for right now. So here's what I did. I analyzed some data, rainfall in the U.S. cities, and it was the average rainfall in the inches, and these are the number of cities that had these averages of rainfall. And so for your viewing pleasure, I've put them into a histogram and I want you to look at that histogram and tell me what do you think? What type of skewness do I have? And no, it's not perfect because this is data from the real world and it is never exactly one of the distributions or the other. So you have to look at it and try to guess. So when, we're look, when I'm looking at this one, I see that other than this point right here, it looks mound shaped. And because there's enough data out here, I'm going to say that it is mound shaped. And that is not mound. So I'm going to say that it is mound shaped. Okay, that's what we want to know about skewness.